okay? Have a fun parade, your ethnic group, right in with real white people. Okay. <laughs> uh, not funny, but not wrong. <laughs> All right, moving right along. Give it up for Tadpole Triplet. Yeah, Angelo in the Brighton Bar one more time. Mike, Mel, Drew, I appreciate y'all. What up, Brian Boy? What's up? What's up? Hey. Oh, shit, a couple herky jerky going on. <laughs> Let's see. It's really sad that a uh, dead Asbury Park press writer is better than all of us <laughs> combined. He's a savage. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Molly. She's gone. I thought the Cookman Creamery was a gay brothel. <laughs> <laughs> Reminded me of West Hollywood. Hey, Tom Silver. Nobody cares because you leave 30 seconds after finishing. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot like Caprio's love life. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> No, both are anti-climatic. <laughs> Love you, man. Where's bipolar Ben at? Where's he at, Ben? He, left he took off. Man, fuck cats wherever he is. Not literally dwag on you, <laughs> Gary McLean, get up for Gary. Yeah. Hey, Caprio. Gary's like a mix of Andrew Dice Clay and the Fonz, the spider. <laughs> yeah, you're almost transparent. Kyle <laughs> you talking about Elizabeth Warren. You know what Elizabeth Warren's native name is? Chief Running Bull shit. <laughs> When Elizabeth Warren rain dances, droughts happen. <laughs> hey ladies, specifically you. <laughs> In case y'all were wondering what it looks like, this is zero thirst. <laughs> That's right, zero thirst. But I can always eat. <laughs> I, like, I, like the I like to lick the goo. <laughs> yeah, I like to lick the coot like it's the last supper. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll never pass over that meal. <laughs> but like every once in a while, one of them betrays you. <laughs> Fuck, Judas ass pussy. <laughs> Look, Bible school for y'all. <laughs> now sometimes I get there and I lick the coot like it's a speed bag. You know my tongue gets after that clit like. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> like pre fight shit. Ain't y'all ever seen one of them blasphemous gals? You know what I mean? You turn and you can't help but be like, God. Damn, I mean, it's fine as a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Remember back in the day when BJ's were legal tender? You know what I mean? Right, Donna? Right. You ever give some head for a six pack of Zima? Don't lie. <laughs> When I was little, uh, on my birthday, I would never make wishes. I would always set goals for myself. And when I was younger, I was really good at a lot of things. I always achieved my goals. And 10 years ago, I broke my nexus. And I, I lost that edge, that whatever it was that made me who I was, I, I was broken. I felt defeated. You know, I let the victimhood of it all define who I was. 
And a little over a year ago, I flipped a scooter in Thailand. And I broke my tibular plateau. I broke three ribs, a collarbone, and I tore my ACL. And my neck was so bad that I didn't feel that pain. And I woke up there realizing how valuable life is, right? How precious time is. The most precious commodity in the world, right? We can't trade it on NASDAQ. No matter how much money we have, we can't get more. And about four months ago, I came out here for the first time, uh, deciding to not be a victim of the cards that I was dealt. I decided I'm gonna take those cards and I'm either gonna outplay or bluff my way to the final table. And all y'all have been a, a big part of me being able to get up every day for me to be able to stand up, to be erect, you know, not, not that way. <laughs> <laughs> every day that I get up is a, a victory. I try to find something in each day. And now one of y'all know that I appreciate it. But let me come out here and do this every week. Real quick, my birthday recently passed. You boys hungry? I set a goal for the first time in a decade. My goal for this year is to Trojan horse humanity back into society. One pity joke at a time. <laughs> I love y'all more than y'all ever know. I appreciate it.